Keshavrao. This, this Thank you, sir. Oh, so I find myself in the same dilemma which my senior colleague, the person, finds himself in. Having heard all people and where everything has been said, I think when I'm noting down everything, there's nothing left for me to talk. But nonetheless, there is a prioritization that we people are doing here that needs to be really focused on. It is not mere air splitting technicalities of law that we are getting into. Although I thought I would speak on them, but now I would like to intervene. Sir, before I do that, at the very outset, let me salute those 298 constitution makers who were at the Constituent Assembly, because we are celebrating this. And particularly my thoughts go first to Mr. B. N. Rao, who was appointed as the consultant and advisor to constitution making. And his death anniversary, Mr. Anand tells me, falls today. So my first thoughts go, all of us must think of him. He's a person who has really worked hard and gave every sort of information to all of the world. Because earlier he gave the constitution to Burma. <clears throat> At that time it is Burma. Now whatever it is, sir, uh, there are two or uh, three serious, serious things that I would like to talk about. Because the way the, even the treasury benches, that is the ministries and also the ruling party were taking so easy. I never thought the members here would take the way debate so easy. First, somebody challenged why there should be 27th day at all. 27th, 26th November, 49 is a day by itself. Let me correct it, although I was just now talking to the, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, that it was on this day the constitution enacted. Please let me make it clear. Look into your constitutions, you'll find out. It came into force on 26th January. And it took more than 100 years. Let Congress people must be happy, but none of them got up to say that. Much before you could think of the constitutional rights of equalities, 1895, Andy Besant and Tilak, Tilak, gave constitution of India. They had a conference. Then 1919, you had a conference. Before the, uh, uh, that came, even the India Act came in 35. Earlier, you had another conference, all party conference. So all that is being is a creation of Congress party. When people were not there, even Sham Prasad Mukherjee from Hindu thought, because they wanted to include all people. All shares of opinion have to be factored in when we are thinking of a Magna Carta for the nation. That's why they went to Sham Prasad Mukherjee and asked him to serve on the Constitution someday. We have as many as Sarabhad Raja Krishna, Allah Krishna Swami, even Ambedkar, they were not congressmen. They thought these people have to, be ha have to have their say in the constituent deliberations so that we give to unto ourselves a real constitution, some kind of a mandate that will say. So, having said that, let me go, let it not become a ritual. I agree with Mr. Uh, uh, Echuri that we should have had thought of this not as a ritual, but some kind of a serious debate of two or three days, followed up by some kind of legislative mechanism that will uphold our, the wantings in the Constitution presently and the various objections or what, various suggestions that we made so that they are backed up by some kind of new legislative measures or whatever measures they are, statutory measures. This is what exactly should have been the debate today. But nonetheless, it is nice that the government of the day thought fit that they will have this Constitution Day I congratulate them because 26th November is by itself a very important, a prominent day, as big as anything like 26th January, if you, look, if you have looked into the epochal debates of the Constitution Assembly. That exactly should be the importance. Then, sir, I am coming to you. You are come. Now, everybody has been talking about what should you do. This very fact, the 65 years, it has sustained us, it stood by us. Hence, it is good. But I don't think it has stood by it because I belong to an entirely different school of thought. I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm not, if I'm not agreeable to most of you. What exactly the constitution, constitution meant, I'm only quoting, I'm only referring to Ambedkar's feeling. Constitution is all about bringing out a new society, sir. A new social order. What social order do we see? We are talking of intolerance. You are all tolerant when I was thrilled and chewed. I was being chewed. 
I was being, when I was trying to touch a book, I was thrown out of the house and talking to a personal experience. Raja will tell you his personal experience, or Punya will tell you his personal experience, or somebody from Maharashtra will tell you. That was the society we inherited. That, kind, that, that was the kind of stratified society we inherited. I'm not a diversified society which you all talk because that, that sounds very nice to you people. But I'm talking of a stratified society where, where a man is not able to touch the other man. This pattern is not there anywhere in the world. The world has the worst kind of social stigmas that we suffered. And we were living up to that when we were making constitution. When the first deliberations of the constitution, things were going on in the Congress party affairs and Swaraj parties. This, thing, this, this was the situation at that time. And we had to fight that. That was the first thing. That is why what I always thought was constitution is all about building a new society. And Ambedkar said, we don't have a nation. It is a nation in making. That should be the beginning of it. While all the quotations that you have made are on the same page, I agree with you. Few of them which you are missing. Because the new social order that we are, we are promised, we are pressed to build, is not yet achieved, is not yet attained. And that is what we must do today if we are to sit together and talk about the constitution. I'm not talking about the constitution whether I should have a six year term or a five year term. That comes. Till yesterday, what a second point he has said is about reservation, which uh, Anand always is remembered to talk, is this. He said, Till yesterday, we had entire administration dominated with these high priests of constitution, the equality. What is this equality? The formal equality versus the factual inequality. The society that we inherited was one which had formal, we were promising formal equality. But against what? Factual inequality. That had to be broken. What do you call, he, uh, he's a great, uh, what, uh, traditional man. Uh, so, karma siddhanta is broken. Yes, links, links are broken. They had to be. Because what he said again, I'm reminding you, Ambedkar ji, Ambedkar did say that today we have the entire administration, from one to last, all those people, the high caste people, I think. Tomorrow, after the constitution, you will have the legislative part parliament also. But how do we change the mindset is exactly the discussion today. All of us sitting in this house, having pressed to do it, having pressed to dedicate ourselves to the constitution, should have thought what exactly is wrong and what should we do. I think his name is... Uh, All we have, the no, so-called Sharda Act, we have, dowry system has gone. But has it really gone? Legislation will at best give us legitimacy. It will not give us the realities into that. What we need to do is a movement. Then what exactly is said? I'm unfit to be on the constitutional assembly if the directive principles don't become directive. It's a directive principle which gives us the equality, which gives us all the fundamental rights and the, this kind of new social order. If they, are, they don't become directive, they just become, remain on the pages, though non justifiable then there is no need for constitution at all. There is no need for freedom at all, independence at all. This exactly is the kind of independence and the republicanism that we have. That I got one vote along with other people might give me the value of the vote, but it's not given the, given the value that I was asking for. Sir, today, just now, Mr. Akbar is not here. All that MJ Akbar said, he should have said that to Mr. Modi. That would have been the best, best part of his speech would have been. But any of he says, that it will bring us together. No. We are romanticizing poverty. We are romanticizing poverty. If I come on a cycle, on a road, I put a, my cycle on the wrong way, what kind of a treatment I'll have with the people, uh, the police and with the lati, you would all know. You'll first kick that cycle, kick me out, and then talk to me. If I come in a Mercedes car, I put in the wrong side. Not only wrong side, before the police, what would I be? You'll come to me, up to me, and say, sir, will you take the car sometimes? Says, this is the kind of society we have inherited, Mr. Chairman, sir. And this is the one which you are still continuing. Come to my place. Come to my Bhubanagar where he stays. We still have two glasses. And after 65 years of independence, after 65 years of your constitution, giving constitution ourselves, we have this in my Many places. Many places. And we are only trying to today talk about what has happened to Keshwananda Bharati and what I'm, I'm, it's all respect there. That is there. That has to run. The nation has to run. At the same time, this is what we exactly looked into. 
When we thought to give a social new social a new society with new social order, that social order has been thought of, and that social order was not mere by words, hollow words. We wanted to back by the legislation. I tell you, 4,000 or 5,000 years back, I don't know the correct. Again, some one Vedic person, Pandit, must tell us. We said, like Rigveda first, "Oh God, give us strength to ward off the evil." That we was admitted that there was evil at that time. Even today, early morning, we get up and say, "Oh God, give me strength, so so that I can ward off the evil." What happened? 4,000 years, nothing had happened. That God perhaps is sleeping somewhere. I don't know, but He had not come to save me. But Constitution is not like that. Person would bear me out. In the Constitution, whether you like it or not, we kick it. If you do wrong, you you are inside. That is the yesterday when Modi said, really it made me feel so proud that one must know it harmonizing the society is through law only, and that law has come through constitution. And let us not only be proud of the constitution; the laws that we make under the constitution become important immediately next time. So the society we are talking about, the values of society we are talking about, is entirely different from that of Western Western thought. We have been saying that. Both things are entirely different. 18th century values of society accepted, where everything, all all kind of atrocities had a divine sanction. 19th Bhakti movement wanted to break it, but still it continued. 20th century has said things are changing. True, that need to change more if we are aiming at some kind of a new social order. That is what we are, exactly we are looking to that social order. So on this day, we are trying to dedicate ourselves. Pay homage to that great man. For me, as far as America is concerned, I'm an I'm I'm Americanite. So as I'm concerned, he's the voice of the voiceless, the light in the darkness, hope for hopefulness. All words again go on adding, but they mean to us. But we have not the Constitution, nor the law, or the administration. We still continue to be the same, if not same, it is off. Hold. Continue to fail us. That is why America said. You, it is not the constitution says the people who come to, who, have, who are handling it, fail, might fail you. Now I am only referring to the leader of house who told about the difficulties. Mr. Venkai Naidu told us about few difficulties. He said about regional disparities. He told about the water grids. He told about API DRC bill. How are they coming? Empowerment has been done to this government, which comes into picture as far as the constitution is concerned. The moment you are put in, as I said, please respect the people who have voted you. Yes, the mandate you got. We respect that mandate. That we respect the people's voice. That is why you are there. But you are forgetting that you are not respecting why you are there. While I am expecting that you are the Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, he is a minister. He will do whatever he wants. I am respecting because he got the mandate. There is no going back on that. But Mr. Ravi Prasad ji, but also understand why he is there. Why he had been called to be there? If we fail, if all regional disparities are other things that you are talking about today, our administrative difficulties should be handled by you. I am not saying, sir. I come to the last word because time is up. Sir, you are talking intolerance. Intolerance to intolerance, intolerance, intolerance. Per se is intolerance. If you think I am intolerant to you, how could you become intolerant to my intolerance that I have not understood so far? A bunch of like we coming from your own party. I was in Congress when we opposed emergency and joined other parties and socialist parties and others in BJP and others. None of you had any tear to shed. Very much, all of us were put in the jails. And today we are all shed. I am also a national award winner as far as picture production films are concerned. But it doesn't. I have many methods of protest. But anyhow, I would not like to comment those who have done. They were right. That they, have, they have a right to do it, let them do it. But let them not say, let them not become martyrs, let them not become the heroes no, only no, because no. they have done that. They have a right to do what they think, that could be a protest. Last word again, I come to NGIC. We have had one of the best speeches, at least me, been in the house from Mr. the law minister, the then law minister. Everybody agreed. Few objections are the clarification were so, not sorted out, but really replied, clarified in a manner, all of us, although I told him that this may not stand because the people who are looking at it, it is challenging them. But reason, rationality, 
um, uh, even sanity would tell us that should have held it. Today, I'm very happy. Even a man like person today says, what has been done is wrong. I would not go deep into that. Many people have said, why it has, been, it has gone wrong? But Mr. Parsan gave one answer to this. I, I wanted Mr. to Keshara, repeat this. Please, please. One, one sentence. Sir, I want the government to look into the method how we undo the great heinous, atrocious thing that has been played on this house. This has to be thought of. At Thank this you. rate, at this kind of a thing, this parliament cannot run because I'm only quoting from it. Sir, 1985, the first time the constitution, non-official effort of Annie Besant was there, she said the parliament be supreme, overriding every version yes. of judiciary and the executive. It is Article 5 of the that non-official constitution she's made. So these things, there are many issues with us. There is social justice. There are issues like NJC people trying to uh, override. And also there are issues you. of administration. Thank you very much, Thank sir. You very much. Thank you very much.